That moves us to number 14, which is the approval of the minutes of the May 20th, 2024 board meeting. Do I have a motion? Mr. Um, Hogan. 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 I'd like to make a motion to approve the minutes of the May 20th, 2024 board meeting. I have a second. second. Ms. Snipes, any discussion? I will say one item, and I don't know that we need to amend this or not, but I did get an email from someone about um, a gentleman that was in public participation. His name was misspelled. Uh, that was a Scrivener's error, I believe. It, does that, do we need to update the motion for that? Or, or Ms. White, has that been updated in the permanent meeting, or minutes? Okay, so it has been updated, so on the website, the permanent Okay, I just wanted to make sure. I know it's just a name misspelling, but um, that's important. So I just want to make sure that the public is aware of that has been addressed and we have the motion on the floor. Any other discussion? All right, seeing none, I'll call for the vote. All in favor? That motion carries seven to zero. And that moves us to public participation. Do we have, uh, we have one um, participant, public participator? <laughs> <laughs> which might not be the right way to say that. But um, before we uh, call her up, uh, I would say that the board, again, welcomes and encourages public participation. We respectfully ask that you adhere to procedures and board policy, BEDH, public participation at meetings. Your comments should be limited to three minutes and must remain either on the topic noted on your sign-in form or a listed agenda item. Questions asked during public participation will be handled in, in accordance with board policy, BEDH. Ms. McElveen. Okay. Um, we have one uh, public participation. Uh, Kim Murphy is here to speak about the bond referendum. Good evening again. The district is proposing two rezoning plans. Um, Do you mind? Um, thank you. So, I can, so we can hear you. I, can you restart the time? I'm so sorry. I couldn't hear Ms. Murphy. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Um, the district is proposing two rezoning plans, one if the November referendum passes and one if the referendum fails, the default plan. Both plans, I believe, um, are not good for our district. And I believe they are attempts to set up a fourth school cluster to build more schools. And I believe the district is willing to uproot children from their home schools to do that, like cattle. But doesn't approving the default plan sound like a ploy to get parents whose kids would suffer um, to get them to vote in favor of the referendum? I think this suggestion also to rename Dutch Fork Elementary sounds like a ploy, that it would only occur if the referendum passes. I don't think it's good for uh, our school district, the, the bond referendum plan to start with, but why not propose the name change and not make it contingent upon the referendum passing? It also sounds like a ploy to hire architectural engineer firms and commit money for, you're gonna be um, voting on it, maybe the next meeting discussing it tonight, um, and, and voting on this, committing money before the bond referendums, um, bond referendum is even uh, is passed, before you know what the result is going to be. But of course, you would want those firms employed now, hired now, to help push for the referendum to pass, so they'd be guaranteed the big bucks with the projects if they're advanced. To me, these ploys are wrong. And I think it's insulting to our community. I would love to have some more discussion openly about this so we understand and people aren't having the wool pulled over their eyes. Thank you. 